from the earlier corrugated iron buildings to the later temporary tents during its reconstruction. Now, the one-of-its-kind Nongchan Monastery has held its 20th Liang Emperor's Repentance Rite, a group practice event that has become a must for devotees and followers from far and wide. In 2007, Dharma Drum Mountain held the Great Compassion Water and Land Service for the first time, based on its experience in organizing the Liang Emperor's Repentance Rite at Nongchan Monastery. By incorporating the ideas of environmental protection, digital technology, Buddhist arts, and humanistic caring. For the past decade, it has infused innovations into this traditional service, reflecting the changes in society over time. Meanwhile, to mark the 40th anniversary of Venerable Master Dong Chu's death, on October 22nd, DDM Sangha held the Samadhi Water Repentance Ceremony at Nongchen Monastery to commemorate the Venerable Master's kindness. Master Shen Yan once said, If I have had any small achievement, it is all attributable to Master Dong Chen's merit. This reminds us to remain thankful and remember the origin of the Dharma Drum Mountain organization as a whole. In reflection, we can see DDM's threefold education, extensive academic education, extensive public Buddhist education, and extensive social care education embodies the efforts of its monastic and lay sanghas throughout the three generations of inheritance. As the lotus bell strikes, the new year arrives the annual bell striking ceremony on Chinese New Year's Eve took place on February 7. Meanwhile, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Lotus Bell, an exhibition featuring the Lotus Bell was held at DDM Complex, inviting the public to celebrate the New Year with great light of brightness. On May 8th, Mother's Day, DDM organized the Stop, Relax, Enjoy group practice event featuring protecting the spiritual environment at the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall Square. People bathed the infant Prince Siddhartha statue in rain, sending blessings to their mothers and best wishes to the world. On September 11th, DDM Xinxing Monastery organized the insightful vision, seeing the treasure in the human realm seminar to promote protecting the spiritual environment, which invited DDM Abbot President Venerable Guo Dong and dignitaries including Unian Zen to share their views on using Buddhist wisdom to explore our inner wisdom. To introduce Chan Buddhist practice to young people, DDM's Young People Development Department and branch centers organize courses and events geared for the youth, including Meeting the Self with the Mind, the Cultivating Excellence Youth Camp, and the Children's Camp, to guide young people to take hold of their lives with a healthy mindset. Meanwhile, since September, the Mind Theater has toured to remote towns, including Wanan and Dapo in Taidong County, to perform dramas, dances, and variety arts, inspiring children to ignite the positivity of their minds. In addition, popular Buddhist education courses, including Be a Happy Buddhist, Merit Field Program, Buddhist Study Group, Evergreen Class, among other regular Dharma assemblies and Chan practice activities, help people study Buddhism in a practical manner, calming their bodies and minds. In publication, this year witnessed a release of over 40 printed and audiovisual products, including the Master Sheng Yen's Chronicle, which had been edited and compiled for more than a decade. A book launch was held to mark the seventh anniversary of the Master's death in honor of his lifetime practice and compassionate deeds. The 68-year-old Humanity magazine published its 400th issue in December. Launched by Dong Chu and relaunched by Shang Yan, the magazine has continued for three generations, carrying out the mission and aspiration of DDM's monastic and lay sanghas to promote Buddhist culture without end.
Humanity Magazine, not only for its 400th and 500th issue, will strive to continue permanently. In 2016, DDM's education systems have engaged in a variety of courses, forums, lecture series, and international exchanges to inspire new outlooks on Buddhist studies and education. On April 8th, in memorial of Master Shen Yen's great vow for the advancement of education, the Dharmadrum Institute of Liberal Arts inaugurated the Great Vow Bridge and School History Hall. The bridge signifies bringing sentient beings across the Sansara Ocean, blessing people to leave afflictions behind and attain freedom in life. In April and May, the Institute of Liberal Arts held the Taiwan Social Value and Impact Forum to explore how to enhance corporate values, exerting their positive influence on society. In July, the seminar on Master Shen Yen's thought celebrated its 10th anniversary with over 100 scholars from around the world participating, who offered Buddhist wisdom to society in response to its needs by researching on the master's thought. In September, the Zhenghua Institute of Buddhist Studies organized the Young Scholars Chinese Buddhism Forum, fostering an interdisciplinary and cross-generation inheritance and exchange. In late October, the Institute won the Silver Level Prize for New Taipei City Outstanding Development Projects Operational Phase. Upholding the environmentally friendly ideal, the Institute continues its commitment to realizing the environmental ethics. Towards the end of January, the Sangha University's 13th Life Awakening Camp witnessed 181 participants experiencing the monastic life. On August 31st, seven new monastics were ordained and 11 students received the novice precepts, setting off a monastic life in joy. On February 6th, a strong earthquake hit Tainan, causing over 600 casualties. DDM immediately launched the relief operation and set up service stations to help relief efforts. Also, by holding a prayer service for the earthquake victims and making caring visits, DDM continuously helped the affected walk out of grief and see light and hope. In early July, Typhoon Nepartek caused devastation in eastern Taiwan. DDM Social Welfare and Charity Foundation gathered some 600 volunteers to help clean up the affected areas, giving Taidong back to its serenity. In our international relief efforts, since the earthquake that hit Ya'an and Sichuan, DDM had launched a relief project. Early this year, the Ya'an Dogong Elementary School was opened, the Minxing High School Library inaugurated, and construction of the table tennis hall has started. On March 2nd, the Social Welfare and Charity Foundation was awarded the Certificate of Recognition for contributing in national diplomacy by Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. On September 24th, Dharmadrum Humanities and Social Improvement Foundation held the Caring for Life Prize Award Ceremony and Forum to show recognition to the winners for their perseverance and compassionate giving spirit. The Foundation also gave grants to students in need held the Buddhist-style joint weddings and joint birthday celebrations for the elderly, reflecting our ideal of four fields for cultivating peace, mind, body, family, and activity, continuing our efforts to extend loving care to all. In 2016, DDM continued its international commitment through its threefold education efforts, promoting Chinese Chan Buddhism in a diverse way. The first development camp for DDM's core volunteers in North America took place at Dharma Drum Retreat Center in February and at Dharma Drum Mountain San Francisco Chapter in March. 
In December, the San Francisco chapter was officially renamed as Dharmadrum Mountain San Francisco Bay Area Center. Dharmadrum Vancouver Center held the Bodhisattva Precept Ceremony for the first time in May. Following the USA, this is another of our endeavors to share the Dharma in North America. In mid-July, Vice Abbot President Venerable Guo Yuan led a group of DDM Sangha University students to travel to Singapore, Indonesia, Mexico, and Los Angeles for a two-month trip to promote Chan practice overseas. Towards the end of August, the DDM Public Buddhist Education Center, on a special overseas trip, visited eight Dharma centers in North America for observation and study to infuse new ideas into public Buddhist education. On September 2nd, Abbot President Venerable Guodong attended the Buddhist Forum on Maritime Silk Road in the 21st century in Fuzhou, China. In May and October, he also traveled to America and Canada to meet devotees and followers. This is his 10th year to share Chinese Buddhism in North America. In addition, a Vatican representative group visited Dharmadrum Mountain on February 19th for a cross-religion exchange, enhancing mutual understanding and mutual perspectives, marking DDM's continuous international commitment and aspiration to help purify the world. In 2016, DDM has also built new practice centers. After nine years of planning and reconstruction, the Lanyang Practice Center in Lodong, Ilan was opened on July 23rd. Resembling the rising sun of wisdom illuminating the Lanyang Plain, the center represents a spiritual pure land in the Kavalan Plain. In our overseas efforts, DDM New Jersey Chapter held the opening ceremony for its new center on May 14th followed by the refuge ceremony and bathing the Buddha's celebration in remembrance of the Buddha's teachings to awaken our pure nature, the original face. For 2016, Dharmadra Mountain again chose great light as the theme of the year. As our mind and even our one single thought can determine our future, with a pure mind, we will see a world of brightness. Let us start from within maintaining a clear mind at every moment and a stable footing at every step, jointly creating a world of bright future.